Today we're sending alerts from Windows Defender. Hey there, this is Tom with Tom's Tech Show, and um, we got a good one for you today. But before that, um, I have a new channel that I've set up. I I want to do some more things that are a little bit more serious, like you want to talk about certain blue-like things that are going around or certain politic things that are going that are happening and uh, I didn't think that this channel this channel is monetized I want to keep it safe and keep it from getting hit with anything you know just so I can continue to produce computer content and maybe a little bit of you know entertainment content um, you know we have the Orville coming up less than 100 days I've, I've been watching going over making videos been watching some of the old it's hard to think the old Orville episodes and um, just how incredibly good they are and how insightful they are and how foretelling they are of some of you know of the current events that are going on today. So just some amazing stuff there. So, um, but some of the other more harsh things, some more things that are you know probably going to generate maybe a little heavier conversation. That's over now at Tom's talk show. I'll put a link down below. Um, so go over there, like, share, and subscribe, and help me out. Or if what you find over there is appalling and horrible, then just lambast me and tell me I'm wrong and, and I'm whatever isterism you want. That's fine. I, I really don't care. But anyway, so today, what we're doing on this channel today is we're setting up Windows Defender to send alerts. Now, if you're going, uh, Windows Defender is a fair, you know, uh, antivirus malware system um, that you can set up on a computer and be able to run it and it's provided by Microsoft and it's free of charge there's no oh you need to upgrade oh you got to do this oh quick you're not protected you know messages that come from it it's just straight on you know protection so couple that with some smart browsing not open any attachments things like that and that will keep you pretty safe uh, using your computer but Say you've got uh, an office, you've got 20 computers, 10 computers, and you want to know when something happens, somebody clicks a link, it's triggered from Defender, and you want to know. You, you know, maybe they're, you know, they're in the office and you're not in the office, or they're working from home and you need to know this information. So how do we do that is pretty straightforward. So let's go here to the script. Um, this is a script that I put together taken from a bunch of other scripts and some of my own email code and stuff that I've put together. So uh, first thing we want to do up here on the top is uh, see if I can make this a little bit bigger. Uh, I know in yeah, zoom in. Okay, there we go. So first thing we want to do is what event IDs do we want to have emailed to us? Um, 1000 is just a generic one that will you can use that one for testing because that's just, I've started a malware scan and I use that for testing because otherwise that would be going off all of the time. But to make sure that it's working and you're getting your email, I leave that one in. So 1006, 1015, and 1116. Now, where do I get these numbers? Okay, there is a Microsoft page here uh, that shows reviewing event logs and error codes to troubleshoot Issues with Microsoft Defender Antivirus. This is over on Microsoft site. Um, and I'll put a link to this in the description. But if we come down here, we start seeing these things. Event ID 1000 is malware protection scan started. We come down to, uh, uh, say, 1005, protection scan failed. You might want to know that. Uh, 1006, malware detected. So that's definitely one we want to go on and find so there's many other things you can put as many or as few as you want but that's going to determine how many rules you put in an event and we'll get to that in a little bit okay so we do once we have that we can do get win event so this is a script that is going to be triggered once we hit an event something happens and boom we run this event run this uh, alert so uh, we get the win event we're only going to get one event we're going to filter that by the event ID from this list. So it's going to go through the alerts, get the very first one that matches one of our lit events in our list. And then we're going to kind of break that down. We're going to get the message. We're going to get the ID, the machine name, and the alert provider name. 
So we really are concerned heavily with this message. So we wanna make sure that's in there. Then we just do a general email here of an email from, email to, the alert, which is alert from machine name, which would be good so that you know which computer um, is out there that is getting the uh, malware or whatever on it. Uh, the body is gonna be event ID, source, uh, machine name, and message. So that's that string. And then we just do our general email, uh, system mail net message, mail message, so that we can set that up and, and run it. Going through Gmail is what I'm doing. Um, we use the 587 port, SSL enabled true, and then we set our, do our credentials, and then we send the message. So basically we, we know there's an event, we get all the information and we email that information out. Now to get that information, we need to create a, uh, an event in our task scheduler. So this is set up by triggers. So we just create a generic event, set it up with triggers. And one of these triggers would be on event, on an event from the log file that we're looking for is Microsoft dash Windows dash Windows Defender slash operational. Then the source underneath that is Windows Defender. And then we put the event ID. This is 1006. So we'll have to make one of these for each uh, event type. So we get 1000, 1000, 1006, and the other uh, 1116 and all that are all in here. So whenever any of those alerts hit, then boom, I get it'll send out my action. Now under actions, we come here and we put uh, start a program. So what we want to do is start a program. That program is, you know, C slash Windows slash System32 slash Windows PowerShell version one uh, PowerShell EXE. And then the argument that we want to put on the end of that is the file dash file because we'll run a script, which I have mine in a folder called scripts right off of the C drive. You can put it anywhere you want and run this file. So I have it called Defender Alert PowerShell 1 PS1. Now, when all this runs and something happens and you know it goes and sends an alert, it sends me an email message. So makes it very quick and easy. And here's one of these messages. It simply states uh, event source is Microsoft Windows Defender. Machine name is Studio 1. Message is Microsoft Defender antivirus scan started. Has a scan ID, what type of scan it is, and who is running it, the system is running it. So if this were malware, it would say message malware detected. So, and then you can go and check and make sure that a full scan is run and um, make sure that the malware has been quarantined and then, you know, find out where it came from and either change behavior or of the user, that, like they opened an attachment or something in an email, or um, find out if it's coming in through your, uh, your your firewall, somebody went to a bad web page, or, or however that got in, and try and train your users, say, well, let's make sure we don't go there, make sure we don't do that again, or make sure we let the other person on the other end know that maybe if it was a bad email coming from somewhere, like a vendor or something, make sure that they know out on the other end you know, that they, they have sent and propagated, you know, malware. So just find out where it came from to try and shut that down. Okay, so that's kind of it. That makes it pretty easy just to go through, set it all up. Uh, once you get this on the system, you know, then it should run pretty maintenance-free until you get it, get it there. If you are using Google uh, to send the email and you have two-factor, you'll have to create an application password for um, the email to be sent and to log into Google, which is fine. So that when we, uh, you know, if ever that were compromised, then you could just turn off that password because these will be in the script on the computer. So if you do get malware, go change, you know, set it at the app password up. If you do get any malware, go and change that app password and then go update your computer's app passwords. Okay. So that should get you there. That should enable you to get alerts from all your computers that uh, have Windows Defender on them. And then you can kind of manage that all in one place instead of asking anybody, anybody get any malware? Who got this message? You know, kind of thing. Uh, helps to get that all in one place. All right. 
But there you go. Pretty plain and simple. If you have any questions or anything about it, of course, my code that I write is always is up in my Bitbucket account, which is linked below. And I will link that Microsoft event ID page for Windows Defender so you can go through those and pick out which events you want to trigger on. And once you know, get all that set up, then make sure to put that in the event ID list inside the script for what events you're going to trigger off of. All right. Well, thanks for watching, and be sure to like, share, and subscribe my channel and help me grow so that I can continue to make these videos to continue to help you and take suggestions from people and do all that back and forth fun stuff. So it's been very enjoyable. So thanks for watching. Take care.